it's the Popcorning Pigs here and today I'm going to show you all of my treats. Now, um, I know I haven't made a video for an absolute age, but that's mainly because, well, I haven't been particularly busy, but I just haven't really felt like making any videos. Um, <clears throat> and also, this video isn't going to be edited because my laptop is really, really slow, so it's really difficult to edit videos, so I'm just going to do this all in one go. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm all froggy and stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to start off with showing you this. Now, this is what I normally keep all of my forage and stuff in. Um, but at the moment it's really empty just because I need to top it up. But yeah, basically that's what that looks like. So, yes, there's that. And then I have a lot of forages like this. Um, this is the Burgess XL Mountain Meadow Herbs, um, and oh my god, these smell so good. They're, I literally want to eat them myself, they smell so good. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Uh, I also have this, which is the Naturals Herb Plus which I really like, and it has a lot of different things in it. Like you can see, it's kind of like a muesli, I guess, because it's got these little, like, pea flakes and stuff. So, yeah, that's that. Then I have this, which is the new range at B&M. Um, yeah, there are loads of different um, things there, and I've got this one and the other flavour, which is that, and I haven't opened that yet. And um, this, you can see, is nearly empty, because I used that a lot, and this one I'm sure they'll love as well. Um, but the pet place actually gave me this, and also another thing that I'm going to show you in a second, so that was really nice of her. And you should subscribe to her, because she's awesome. So, that's those as well. Let's probably get it in shot. Oh, never mind. Okay, next is this. Um, which, obviously, I haven't used yet. And um, this is the Nature's Natural Goodness Hay Roller with carrot and parsley. And um, this, I think what I'm going to do is put it in the cage and let them eat a bit and then take it out again because it's, it's massive. So obviously you wouldn't want them eating that all in one go. So yeah, I am really looking forward to trying that. And again, the pet place gave me that, which is incredibly nice of her. It wasn't even my birthday. So yeah. Then I have some of these, which are the... Um, completely forgotten what these are called, like aromatic crunchies, these things, and then um, they're mixing with these things as well, but it's from Pets at Home and it's from Woodlands, um, but again the pet face gave me a little sample of this and my guinea pigs absolutely love these, so again really nice of her. Uh, next I have this Woodlands Floral Feast which my guinea pigs don't like so very much because they're not a huge fan of flowers but they do eat it eventually <laughs> and I haven't got much of that left because they do adore that uh, next I will do sorry next I will do the wooko and dandelion and green oat thingy sorry there was just a really weird noise um, but yes again I have used a lot of this and my pigs absolutely go mad for this. It's like their favourite treat. So yeah, I really need to buy some more of that. Most of my treats are kind of forages because that's their favourite treat. So sorry, there are some really weird noises coming from outside. Okay, um next are these Burgess dandelion rolls, and I believe these have been discontinued, so yeah, that's kind of bad, but yeah, this I only have like this much left and it's spilling everywhere and stuff. 
but they absolutely love these again um, and it's a really good boredom breaker for them as well so well they just ah okay um next I have these rose petals which technically I guess they're not a guinea pig treat but they can have these um, and these are literally just dried rose petals and mine really really love these and I like to mix these into their forage as well so yeah those uh, and next I have these which I don't use actually at the moment because I don't really like to give my guinea pigs cooked things very much I don't know I just I'm not too keen on it but these are just the pick and mix from pets at home and I'm not actually sure if these are in date so I might just throw these away but yeah they have had these before and they're not very keen but these are basically the circle ones here and you can see I cut out the thing the pick and mix and there's also this is the Lucky Clovers and these which are um they're like from WAG like the carrot things but mine absolutely hates those so yeah I haven't fed these for a long time next is this which is actually food but I got this free so and I don't actually use this food, so I kind of use this as a treat, like sometimes I give them one. Like that's what they look like. So, yes. And then, hmm, I have these, which are Gertie's Crunches, and I have literally had these for ages. Um, I do actually need to throw them away, I think. Uh, so yeah, this is what these look like, and again, these are really sugary and stuff, and I wouldn't recommend getting them. Although my guinea pigs did like them, I don't, I'm not so keen on feeding them because of all of the sugar and such. Um, but yeah. And then last, I have this jar with random stuff in it. It's the Woodlands Mini Alfalfa Bales, which I hardly ever use now because all of my guinea pigs are grown up, so they shouldn't really be having alfalfa. But yeah, there are loads of those. Um, there are some of these things from Morco's, the hay thingies that I can't remember the names of. And loads of these which I always think look like beef but basically they're puffed wheat and you get them you get them in this but I always pick them out and for some reason I pick them in there. I don't know why. So yeah that's pretty much all of my treats. Um oops. So I hope this video wasn't too bad and yeah thanks for watching and bye. Yeah, turn off.